AMD plan on launching their new range of high-end desktop CPUs known as Threadripper next month in August, but should you wait for them or buy now? Let's find out. Hey guys, Jared here, and if you've been following my channel for a while now, you may know that I'm still running an x58 based PC, which is 7 years old now. I've been pretty keen to upgrade for a while now. Even in my third video, I said that I was going to be upgrading pretty soon in the future, but I never actually got around to doing it. Put simply, nothing really interested me at the time, and then suddenly, all at once, things got interesting again, and I've been playing the waiting game ever since, trying to decide what I should get. The key factor that shook up the CPU scene is of course AMD's Ryzen. It's been offering great price to performance chips when compared against Intel's offerings. For a much fairer price when compared to Intel, AMD Ryzen CPUs are offering a decent gaming experience. Ryzen seems to be more suited to workstation style workloads, such as running virtual machines or rendering video, owing to its extra CPU cores. Great, so as someone that renders a lot of video, 8 CPU cores seems like more than enough for me. The 8 core Ryzen 1700 CPUs and above seem perfect for what I need. They sound like an epic upgrade over what I'm currently running, so why haven't I just bought Ryzen 7 and called it a day? Basically, I wanted to see what Intel's Skylake X had to offer. I knew it would cost more, but I was crazy enough to think that perhaps that extra price increase might actually be worth it and give me some good performance. Turns out I was wrong with that. After seeing many benchmarks of Skylake X vs Ryzen 7, the Ryzen CPU seemed to offer a lot of value, even trading blows with Skylake X in some tests. To be honest, 8 CPU cores is probably more than enough for what I'm going to be doing with my computer, but the inner enthusiast in me kind of just wants those 12 and 16 core parts. I can't wait to see what they have to offer. If they're anything like Ryzen, it should change things up quite a lot. While Threadripper might not dominate Intel's lineup in terms of pure performance, it appears to be hundreds of dollars cheaper, which is extremely interesting and I think definitely worth waiting for. Intel's official marketing lists their 12 core i9 7920X CPU at $1,199 US dollars and the 16 core i9 7960X CPU at $1,000 699 US dollars. Compared with AMD's Threadripper, the 12 core 1920X CPU has been announced at 799 US dollars, with the 16 core 1950X at 999 US dollars. That's a $400 and $700 price difference respectively, quite substantial. Of course, core count isn't all that's important. There'll be many other factors like clock speeds and overclocking capabilities, however there's definitely quite an interesting price difference between the two. If you're currently on the fence with regards to buying a new CPU for productivity use cases, I'd definitely wait and see what AMD's Threadripper has to offer. It's better to find out first before potentially wasting your money on Skylake X. If you're buying a CPU primarily for gaming, there's probably not that much difference in waiting. You'd be better off buying something like a 7700K from Intel or a Ryzen 7 CPU, as the higher clock speeds will probably help you out more there. Not to mention the additional cores from Skylake X and Threadripper probably aren't going to help you that much in most of the games that you'll be playing. Even if you aren't planning on buying Threadripper, at this point with just a few weeks away I'd probably still wait anyway to see what happens. Who knows, maybe Intel might even drop some of their prices in order to take back some of that bleeding market share that they've been losing to AMD. Although knowing Intel that's probably unlikely. So what do you guys think about AMD's upcoming Threadripper CPUs? Are you going to wait and see what's on offer, or are you just going to go out and build your new PC anyway? Be sure to let me know your thoughts down in the comments. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to subscribe for future tech videos like this one.